Today we're taking a step back in time. One of these as well, please. Yeah. I do find it weird how a energy drink company hasn't sponsored this channel yet. People who have been to Munich will know that that is one of the most famous, if not the most famous landmark um, in the entire city. If you look at like a, a picture of the skyline, that will sort of give it away that you're in Munich. We are in the Olympic Park and today we're going to be going behind the scenes of Bayern's old stadium, 1860's old stadium as well, the Olympic Stadion. This is one of the nicest locations I've ever seen for a stadium. Look at this, the amount of green space in this huge park is insane. And like, there's the swimming hall there. There's like loads of stuff for families and kids to do. But as this shows you here, this was Munich's largest mountain of rubble after World War II. In 1936, Germany hosted the Olympics and that was hosted in Berlin. Berlin was the main city that hosted the Olympics that year. And if you know your history, 1936 Germany probably wasn't the best place to be and um, they hosted the Olympics again in 1972 and it was to be hosted here in Munich and that is when they built this Olympic Park and it was in comparison to the Berlin Olympics um, set to symbolize freedom um, after the horrors of what happened in the 30s and 40s in Europe and obviously in Germany. All right it may be two minutes to 11 a.m. on a Tuesday morning but I do not give a f Cheers. Right, he's back. I'm back. By Munich's greatest tour guide. <laughs> if you were by Munich's tour guide from 1972 yeah. Yeah, yeah. until 2005, yeah, five. Five, you'd have been doing your tours here, right? I've been doing it here, but I was a little too young for that. Yeah, <laughs> of course. And so, what does this stadium mean to not just Bayern, but also the city of Munich as well? Well, it's still kind of a landmark because the, the roof itself is really recognizable I, and I'm in love with it somehow, you know, it's yep. just got that flair to it. It's iconic, right? Look it's at that. It's iconic, yeah. yeah. And look, there are people up there too doing a, oh, a yeah. rooftop tour. Yeah, 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 <laughs> of course. You can do that at Spurs and you can do that here yeah. as well. Let's have a look. So, there's obviously no roof over there. Yeah. yeah. There's a partial roof over there. How yeah. hard was it for fans? of Bayern Munich and 1860 Munich played here yeah. as well and the Turkish Munich side what was yeah, yeah, their name? Yeah they played quite recently it's Turgut Munich yeah, Turgut they, they Munich for like two years there's yeah. a few football teams recently. that have played here yeah. it must have been hard for them to watch a it game in hard, the winter yeah. right yeah wow look at it though there's, there's no pitch well yeah, no because it's concert season concert season yeah. right okay <laughs> and so who's played here before well, Rammstein a lot, you know, kind of like the most famous band. Bon Jovi, I actually went bon to Bon Jovi, Jovi yeah. a few years ago. But your favourite artist was here recently, right? Harry Styles? Uh, not, not my favourite artist, <laughs> though, no. But yeah, he was here. He was here. Günter Benisch, he won uh, a small competition for, uh, from architects um, who's gonna build the Olympic parks, the stadiums, uh, the swimming hall, everything. And Günter Benisch, he was the one who designed all of the park and uh, he wanted to build a roof that resembled a bit the German pavilion at the um, Montreal World Exhibition in uh, 68. Um, it's a really light tent roof um, with see-through glass on top. He built a model, really small scale. Um, he used some toothpicks and a pantyhose from his wife to resemble the rooftop. So it's a little bit different to the Allianz. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was Quite just saying to you, it's like stepping back in time, isn't it? Yeah. And you were telling me that the football here during the Olympics, yeah. 1978, Two. 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 Was won by Poland. Poland won the gold medal Poland match here in front of 80,000 people. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's the largest figure in the world. This is the largest table football yeah. in the world. 2006 World Cup ball. We've got the Michael Ballack Predators as well. Oh, yeah. They are nice football boots. Look at that. That's the 
ball from the, from the 74 World Cup. 74 World Cup. A little bit different to the balls they have in the World Cup today. It's a DFB Pokal. Yeah, that's what we saw Inter v yeah. Augsburg in the other day. And then we have the Bundesliga Shield down here, right? Yeah. So he was send, telling us that we're in the VIP section now, but yeah. seats are the same as seats everywhere exactly else, right? Because the they wanted it to be equal for the people in yeah. the in the Olympics. But we're going to go in and have a look in a sec. But before yeah. we do, just for the football, obviously we spoke about the mm -hmm. the Olympics. What about the European Cup finals that are oh, played yeah. here? Three teams have Three won teams. the European Cup yeah. here, right? It was Nottingham Forest. Yep. Fruit Brian Clough, uh, Marseille. Yep. In '93 and Dortmund '97. And Dortmund are. They are uh, very proud to say that they are the only uh, German team to have won the European Cup in Munich after, of course, Bayern uh, missed their chance. Yeah, 2012. Referee. Look at these old doors, look. As you can see, the stadium time forgot. Look at this. So up until 2005, this is where yeah. Bayern would have come to get yeah. changed. Like Oliver Kahn, yeah. Philip Lahm, would he have been playing then? Yeah. Yeah. They'd have all got yeah, changed in here. Yeah. Wow, look at this place. So and they won all those league nice. titles, Champions League, <laughs> from in here. Yeah. What are these here? Hairdryer. They're hairdryers. Hair wow. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> okay. I couldn't imagine yeah. Oliver Kahn yeah. Yeah. drying his hair in one of those. <laughs> There's not many stadium tours where you can like literally come out onto yeah, the pitch. Yeah. I know the pitch isn't being the kept for football right here, now yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, because of the uh, concerts and stuff. But we spoke about the club football when yeah. we were just up there a minute ago. Yeah. What about the international games that were here? Well, first uh, one, the big one that we spoke the about. One. Yeah, the World Cup. Well, the bigger, bigger oh, one oh, yeah, than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> England. Oh, England. Yeah. <laughs> England ah, yeah, beat uh, Germany 5-1 here. That's a, one yeah, of the most famous uh, results of my childhood. Michael okay. Owen scoring a hat trick okay. against. Germany on Germany. this very pitch here, which That's I need to step pitch. on. Michael <laughs> Owen, my hero growing up, mate. He's got a hat trick here against Germany, which doesn't happen often. But yeah. then the two major finals here that weren't Olympics, obviously, oh, yeah. were. Yeah, the World Cup final. 1974. 74, yeah. Interesting Egypt. thing about that World Cup final, won by West Germany. Yeah. But they did they lose to East yeah, Germany yeah. in that World Cup? Yeah, they, lo they lost to East Germany in that same World Cup. Yeah. Luckily, he was not here, he was in Hamburg. Okay. But uh, yeah, they still made it to the final, played the Netherlands and they won. And the captain would have been? Franz Beckenbauer. So Beckenbauer lifted the World Cup. Oh yeah. And he'd have played on this pitch that you're standing on right this now. This pitch, yeah. And then the and other major Cruyff final. Too. And Cruyff as well, he was in that final. Yeah, of course. And uh, the other major final, yeah. speaking of the Dutch. Yeah, the 88 uh, Euros final. Yeah. Where the Dutch won for a change, yeah. Against the USSR, I think it was, if I remember right now. Yeah. How much did it cost to build in 1972? I have a guess. <laughs> I couldn't just because it was so long ago. No, it's Euro, it's Deutsche Mark. Ah, Deutsche Mark. Uh, Deutsche Mark. No, I know, okay. I don't know how. Much. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know the equivalent today. Yeah. Yeah. Like one to two. Like, I couldn't. Uh, yeah, because it's in marks as well. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm not sure. All of it. All the stadiums. Yeah. Of 1.1 billion. 1.1 billion. 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 Okay. What do you also, know? What that would be translated to? The entire park, all okay. the stadiums, uh, all the okay, subway yeah. stations, okay, okay. Everything. Wow. everything. What would that be in today's money? Uh, That's a tough probably question. More. Four billion euros. So in today's money, it'd be four yeah, billion. Okay. It was in oh, okay, 1972, yeah. it was one billion Dutch marks, so yep. it's 500 million euro. Okay, yeah. And then it's with inflation, four, four yeah. billion. Wow. Four. And that was for the whole Olympic site, yeah. wasn't it? Not yeah. just this stadium, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. For me, this kind of feels like. A bit like a stadium that time forgot, oh, in yeah, a way. Absolutely. Them change rooms, if you think that, like I said when I was in there, there's people like Oliver Kahn, Philip Lahm, legends of the game, of the modern era, yeah. who have changed them change rooms. Yeah. 
the exact same change rooms that Beckenbauer would have got changed yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. And you think of like the era that he was in. But what do you make of like, you can see the modern buildings oh, yeah. of Munich through there, but yeah. then you have this like old stadium here. What do you think of like the contrast between the old and the new? I think it's always a beautiful thing, you know, to see the old and the new together. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we saw at the, at the Allianz Arena where I showed you, you know, that the, the, the restaurant there was kind of made with that in mind to yeah. combine the old Olympic Stadium with, with the new. Yeah, the yeah. ceiling was the yeah, same the in the restaurant exactly. there as it is like downstairs yeah. in the entrance here. Yeah. And he was also saying on the tour that that hill there yeah. was made from Artificial the rubble from World yeah. War Two. They had so much rubble in the city, yeah. they had to yeah. move it out of the city and they just shoved it over there. Yeah. There's now a hill that they had specifically built there with this stadium in mind so that when there's concerts on and when yeah. the Olympics was on, people could just sit on there and watch for free yeah. or listen for free. Yeah. I think cool. it's fr from up there you cannot see what's happening on the pitch. Yeah. But, but you can you, listen you, to the noise, yeah, get the atmosphere. Yeah, th that too. And you could see maybe the, the stage, you know, because the stage would be on this side of the Yeah. Uh, you could see the, the, the stage from there. Nice. Right, so after a really good week in Germany, I am now back in Scotland and I'm looking forward to getting back to the Scottish videos. But um, yeah, the Olympic Stadium tour, um, I was excited to do it, but I didn't quite realise how much history is there. Obviously, like where I live, Glasgow, there are so many historic stadiums that have such significance with football um, for different reasons. Um, and I feel like Munich's Olympic Stadium is kind of one of those stadiums for um, the entire of Germany. It's like had so much history there. England 5-1 of course, a World Cup final, a Euros final, an Olympic final, three European Cup finals as well. I can't see a world in which it has another major final ever again just because of the way the stadium is now and like I said and maybe the way I'll title the video is the stadium stuck in the 70s or the stadium that time forgot um, and I mean that in the most respectful way possible. I feel like it's quite a clickable title for YouTube but at the same time like it's fascinating to visit these stadiums. Stadiums. I love when they don't change because I've been to the uh, Lisbon National Stadium, the Estadio Nacional, where Celtic won the European Cup and it genuinely hasn't changed much, maybe a little bit here and there, but it hasn't really changed much from 1967 when they actually won it. If you look at pictures from then and you go and watch my recent video that I made on it like last year or whatever, it still looks almost identical. I feel like that's the same for the uh, Olympic Stadium in Munich as well. There's stadiums around the world that sort of transcend time a little bit and I do kind of wish that um, they aren't worked on too much because they should keep a lot of their um, old kind of styles and the way they are. Um, they're historical pieces, aren't they? And they should be listed in my opinion like some of the stadiums are here in the UK. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed all the German videos. Please do go back and check them out. I'll leave my German playlist on screen. Um, I've been to Dortmund, I've been to Hamburg, I've been to Cologne, I've been to um, Munich now. I've done many videos in Germany, so do check out that playlist and uh, find a video for you. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.